Hello, yes, you, random person that just clicked on this video. Hi, my name's Jingle. How are you today? Yes, good. Well, are you sure? Because it looks like your pockets are a little bit empty there. I don't hear that little jangle of money that I would expect to be hearing. Are you in need of gold? Well, my friend, well, I've got the solution for you. I have the perfect strategy to get you as much gold as you need. And guess what? It's not as hard as it may seem. But how in the world are we going to get this cold hard cash? Well, the simple answer to filling your pockets would be of course to just play the game i mean playing the game is going to fix all your problems but that's a really simple answer and you're not looking for something like that you want an efficient way to get gold and today i'm gonna tell you exactly the best way to do that but first yeah 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 you, you know what i'm gonna say i'm gonna wait you do know what i'm gonna say oh okay hey look at that you know what i'm gonna say all right let's move on so gold is the currency you use in cube defense to do four specific things you either buy towers so you can become more powerful you purchase skins so you can feel aesthetically pleased about yourself you shuffle maps for that specific one map that you need for your very specific and very important strategy or you purchase match boosters to get extra xp so everybody will see just how great you are you're gonna need a ton of gold to purchase some of these towers such as the garrison the tomb or the mk2 temple i mean 35,000 gold is a ton of cash so what's the best method to getting all this gold what i'm about to tell you is very very important so don't miss this point the key way to get gold is by winning Winning is the most important part of gaining match gold and experience as there is a significant boost whenever you actually win. If you end up losing the game early, you're going to get a very small amount of gold and nobody wants to spend 20 minutes just to get 200 gold. That's horrible. So you want to win. You're going to lose game modes at some point. That's completely understandable. I mean, whenever you try to beat a game mode, uh, you're, you're going to lose. That, that's completely fine. However, if you're looking for gold, don't go into a game mode that you're not sure if you can win because it's not going to give you a lot of gold if you don't win the amount of gold that you actually will be getting varies depending on the game mode and difficulty for example you're going to get a lot more gold in medium mode compared to easy mode and the same goes for hard mode compared to medium mode so the more difficult it is generally the more money you are going to make the amount of gold you get varies depending on the game mode and difficulty that you play and can range anywhere from 400 to 3,500 gold for winning. No, however, do note that those higher numbers do mean you have to play harder difficulties. So you may struggle a bit more in actually getting the higher rewards. It's just how the game works. But even winning an easier game mode whenever you're lower level is still pretty beneficial. So don't be discouraged if you're only getting easy mode win rewards. That is going to help you get better so you can actually win the more difficult ones now moving on with the tower thing something you need to remember is not to buy skins just because you look good doesn't mean you are good the same thing goes for shuffling your maps there are workarounds for that and also match boosters which you can purchase right here I would suggest you avoid those as well it's not really necessary for you to purchase these XP boosters right now however if you are low level and you really really want to get up to that next level so you can play the next game mode or you get that next tower maybe it's going to be beneficial that's up to you so each game mode gives you an increased amount of gold depending on its difficulty however this reward also varies depending on whether or not you're a rich robloxian and have the vip game pass as it rewards 25 percent more gold to players the following numbers are rewards for beating the survival game modes on easy mode, you will get 375 gold or 469 gold with the game pass. On medium mode, you'll get 600 gold or 750 gold with the game pass. Hard mode will reward you with 850 gold or 1,063 gold with the game pass. And chaos mode will give you 1,150 gold or 1,438 gold with the game pass. So honestly, they get a lot better over time. Each of these for winning honestly looks pretty good. However, do note that beating the cube apocalypse version of each of these difficulties will actually give you more gold but cube apocalypse is often a lot harder and you need better defenses and skills to stay alive plus if you lose you will get the exact same amount of gold no matter how long you survive on the flip side though doing endless mode is actually going to reward you with very little gold so don't waste your time there so even with those bonuses of beating cube apocalypse survival can still be made more profitable and that is where this strategy comes in because we're going to be using gold mines to get more gold. Gold mines themselves actually do cost a lot of gold. If we look in the shop, it actually costs 5,005 gold to 
purchase, which is a significant amount. However, if you do grind this out, you should be able to obtain this tower and you will be able to make up this loss of gold pretty quickly. So don't worry too much about that. The way that gold mines function is that they give you a set amount of gold per wave you survive, meaning that if you use them in Cupocalypse, they're going to be worthless since there's only one wave the entire game. Their rewards increase every single time you upgrade them too, meaning that the quicker you max them out, the more gold you will make, maxing out at 12 gold per wave. So what we want to know is how quickly can we get all three of our allowed gold mines placed and upgraded in a game. Also, to those of you that are wondering why we don't do the endless game mode instead since there are nearly 1,000 waves total, well, the reason we do that is because of the fact that gold mines only reward once every five waves in that game mode. So it's not going to be nearly as good compared to doing normal survival. So what's our strategy for maxing out the gold mines the quickest? Well, that involves three very important towers, the factory, the oil rig, and the campfire. Some of you may not even own oil rig yet, and that's understandable, but note that it's going to take you longer to max out your gold mine if you don't own it. So if you don't own oil rig, just try your best to follow these upcoming steps with only the factory. One other thing though, I'm going to make the assumption that you are playing with four other people that can defend for you while you're doing this. This strategy is heavily dependent on the fact that you're going to have other people in game so they can defend while you get your gold mines. So make sure you trust them to survive without you while you make some extra income. The first step you need to take is to place every single one of your oil rigs in factories. You need to place them close together. So that means on the line between water and land and leave yourself a little spot as close to the center as possible so you can place the campfire there. Once you have all your economy placed, this campfire will need to be upgraded to level three and be enhancing everything so you get the maximum upgrade discount. Begin upgrading all the oil rigs to level two. And if you have extra money at the end of a wave, upgrade your factories as well. Once you have all economy towers at level two, repeat the exact same process, focusing oil rigs over the factories. Keep doing this for every single level. There will come a time when you can sell all and get enough cash to max out all your gold mines. This timing though will vary a little bit due to the VIP game pass, allowing users to sell towers for 10% more cash. You can check how much cash you will get by clicking the sell all button. Don't worry, all your towers won't actually get sold just yet. Once you know that you will have over 50,450 gold cash after selling every single one of your towers go ahead and do that go ahead and sell them all and then replace the campfire upgrading it to level three then place all of your gold mines and then begin upgrading every single one of them to maximum as quick as possible trying to get them all out before the wave ends with this process if you do it quick enough, it's going to allow you to gain a lot more gold compared to Cupocalypse and reward you 36 wonderful gold coins per wave. So that's going to be the best way most likely for you to get gold quickly. But do note that this is going to leave you weak and helping to defend for the rest of the game. So you may want to consider leaving at least some of your economy towers so you can actually help out later in the game. Uh, I'd hate to be that one guy that just does nothing the whole game. So make sure you do something, please, besides just getting gold. So this is the best way for majority of players currently to get gold. However, this is not truly the best way. The best way to get gold actually involves beating Nightmare. And I actually haven't done a ton of research on Nightmare since most of you won't even be able to beat it. But considering the difficulty is very high and the survival mode only has about 20 waves and winning already rewards a lot of gold, it's probably better for you to, instead of playing survival and using gold mines, go ahead and just do the cubepocalypse mode as it'll probably be the better reward for gold, especially with the VIP game pass. Rewarding 2,999 gold, 3,738 gold with the VIP game pass, Nightmare Cubepocalypse is going to give you a ton of gold to use for your various needs. So hopefully you've gained a better understanding of how gold works and the best ways to get it. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Make sure to consider subscribing down below. Don't have to, your choice not mine. And like the video if this has helped you at least somewhat. And with that, have a good day everybody. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye everybody.